Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the south node, sextile, or trine the midheaven in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, the south node is associated with what we generally will strongly emphasize or accentuate often in the first part of our lives. We hit around age 30 or so, it becomes kind of a monotonous thing. I refer to it as kind of the redundant spot in the horoscope and we often divert to the north node in our charts. Now, not necessarily eradicating the south node energy completely, but merely integrating it at least somewhat with the north node. Now, we look at uh, the midheaven or MC, and it's connected uh, with authority, standing in the community, uh, its social status. Uh, we look at it as our career, livelihood, uh, recognition or need um, for it could indicate notoriety and um, status and uh, status and recognition I should say and um, authority figures superior supervisors and anyway people let me get started the first thing is is that I look at this um, these aspects obviously auspicious sextiles and trines and the tenth house um, is the career or, or is supposed to reflect the career um, of the person. Now, this could indicate that the person's um, abilities uh, that they use in the first part of their life or that they strongly emphasize or accentuate could blend in uh, well uh, with their, as far as the career goes and might utilize them strongly in whatever livelihood uh, they have. They might get some recognition for it. Uh, they're standing in the community. Uh, this could play um, a role uh, to some degree in that uh, this could indicate that uh, perhaps uh, the father or dominant parent, it's usually the father, uh, could play a role perhaps in the uh, development of these abilities that this person has or whatever it is they're accentuating or emphasizing strongly more in the first part of their life. They may uh, get some accolades or recognition uh, for what they're doing in connection uh, with the South Node. Uh, this could indicate something in the community themselves, maybe their general community, their neighborhood, for example. Uh, they might get some recognition. If somebody, say, has the sex style uh, to the Midheaven, say in the 11th house, which wouldn't happen often because that's one house away, but say it's toward the end of the, um, the south node is toward the end of the 11th house. This could indicate perhaps some recognition uh, to some degree, uh, perhaps for maybe some ability uh, connected uh, maybe with uh, group to organizations uh, to some degree, humanitarian efforts uh, perhaps. Uh, and the thing is, if somebody has the north, no I'm sorry, the um, what I meant was the south node in the 11th, I might have said north, but uh, that would be more in the first part of life. And then if the south node was in the 11th sextile, uh, the MC or midheaven, they would obviously have uh, the north node in the fifth house and perhaps uh, creative ability, some kind of thing connected with maybe speculation or entertainment. Uh, create creativity might be emphasized more in the second part of their life and may play a role in perhaps some recognition or as far as their uh, career may go but, but that would be more in the second half of course because I'm talking about the North Node and having sex styles and trines obviously as I stated before it's auspicious it's beneficial they're very positive somebody that has a sex style or trine with the South Node and MC will obviously have a sex style or trine uh, with the North Node and MC and it's a win-win uh, situation for the, the whole life not just the first part but the second part and one of the main things to remember is that is like what I like to say as I've said in other videos is that uh, the one uh, though sextiles and trines are positive they also um, on the negative side they could indicate complacency or somebody becoming too relaxed uh, and taking maybe their certain abilities uh, for granted and one must remember they always have to keep um, keep moving forward or 
to keep uh, being able utilizing the abilities that you have on a consistent basis because you can't just rest on your laurels and and just figure well uh, just because I did this uh, yesterday that means everything's going to be okay uh, for today and things just aren't obviously going to come to anyone just uh, just naturally I mean effort and you know doing things um, in connection with the ability, actually working to make it um, as far as utilizing your, your abilities or gifts or what have you is the key uh, to keep in order to um, in order to get the, the, the benefits from uh, from these aspects. So anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the South Node sextile or trine the Midheaven in a Naval Horoscope. And stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about the south node and major adverse aspect to the MC or midheaven in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.